Hi, this is Paul Tannehill. I'll be sharing in this screencast a quick overview tour of the Add a Resource drop-down menu in your Moodle course. I refer to resources in your Moodle course as static content. Static content consists of resources your learners read, view, and or listen to, but do not interact with. Static course content is added via the Add a Resource drop-down menu. You need to be logged into your Moodle course in an instructor role or higher and turn editing on. Okay, back down to the area where I'm going to be building and deploying this video ultimately into the Add a Resource drop down. I might refer to this drop down as the Static Content drop down because I've, I've kind of been working on that mindset for a while now. I'll show you how to insert a label how to compose not a text page but a web page linking to a file website and displaying a directory these last two tools this one is kind of an intermediate to advanced tool and this one may or may not be on the site much longer let's go ahead and insert a label first of all a label is something that shows up directly on your course start page what we're looking at right now and you can insert a label being text and or an image and or a video, any amount of multimedia to appear right here on your course start page. If it gets kind of involved though, you're going to consider, I'd like to consider building it as a web page with a link from your start page to your to the web page where your multimedia is. But building a label can have um, a good effect in kind of breaking up some of the initial content that appears on your course start page. Let's go ahead and do it. This is the typical Moodle text entry box. And uh, let's just say I'm going to make a random label, literally a random label. Let's say I want to make it a little bigger so it shows up a little nicer, maybe let's say 14 points. I can maybe insert a horizontal line. You can do any number of things in this text editing box. You can uh, insert a hyperlink. Put an image in there, a table, some emoticons, etc., etc. Let's say that I want to insert a picture to show up. And you'll see my files area. I already have a folder called images, and that's one that I, that I created manually. And I'll, I'll give another screencast later on on effective file management within your Moodle course. So I click on the images folder, and I have one here, right here handy. I just happen to. And you'll see the end of the preview in there. Some goofy guy. You need to have some alternate text. Just call it whatever you want. Click OK. Now you see it's getting it's kind of shallow all of a sudden, kind of. No, not that I'm shallow. This window is shallow. And this button right over here is the enlarge editor button. It gives you a pop-up with a bigger full screen editor. Maybe I want this to be a link to a site. Let's just pretend about uh, one of my favorite sites in the whole wide world. And since it's leaking to a site outside our Moodle course area, I'll have that open in a new window. More on that later. I want to just click the Minimize Editor button. And all that text is still in this editor window here, you'll see. I'm going to go ahead and click on Save and Return to Course, and you see my label come in. There we go. That's kind of right aligned. Maybe I want to center some th something in here. And so once I create anything in Moodle, I can always update it by clicking the Update icon. Maybe I want to make this bold. Maybe I want to make it a little bigger. Maybe I want to center align it. Maybe I want to center align the picture. And so on and so forth. Let's see how this looks. There we go. That's better. And you'll see also another capability you have is to move this up or down throughout your course. You can 
hide it from your students if you like. So if you're enrolled in a student role, uh, this would be invisible to you until and unless the instructor makes that visible. And of course, if I wanted to delete it, I could do that. There's a label. Now let's look at composing a web page. Basically, composing a text page is very limited. All you can do is input text. You can't do much with that text. And you're going to find yourself wishing you had more capabilities, which come into play with the web page tool. So I recommend don't, not even bothering composing a text page. Uh, how about composing a web page that you can have multimedia, HTML, links, video, etc., etc. So let's go ahead and compose a quick web page here. And some of that we already kind of taught, went over in this label. You saw how you the capabilities of building a label. They're real, really similar to building a web page. Let's just say I want to make a web page. Oh, already done that. There we go. This summary box is optional. And let's say I want to build a web page here again. I could just basically simulate what I just did with the label, couldn't I? Maybe horizontal line. Maybe below that I might want to put, maybe I want to put a video to play on that page. I just happen to have one loaded up here in YouTube. And I could also, I could always link to this YouTube video if I wanted to. But see, look at it from a learner's perspective. What do you have over here that in the way of potential distractions? Other links to other videos, right? How about a way to, to have your video embed, uh, basically it play from an embed right there in your Moodle course. So if you look, if you think of the word embed and click the word embed down here, you'll see some HTML that you can utilize to have just the video player play in your Moodle course without all the distractions. I want to maybe think about different sizes for the video. Probably this one's going to work. I simply select it and copy it. And back to my Moodle course. Now before I paste into here, I want to prepare Moodle to receive HTML, which is what that embed code is. I click this little double bracket toggle HTML source button here. And this will trip you up. It's an easy step to miss. So make sure you get this. And at this point, it's safe to paste that HTML in there. And you can click this again back if you want to or not. It wouldn't matter. And you can, let's just save and return to course for now. I'll scroll down to our area again. And there's the label and there's the web page we just created. Now because this is a web page that I created in my Moodle course, I want to go ahead and leave this. I, you may not have noticed that I didn't indicate for this link to open in a new window. I click this link and it takes me to this page in my Moodle course where now I've got this video playing right here in my course without it taking me to the YouTube page. Ah, well, we won't worry about that right now. Look at it later if you want to. Let's go ahead and go back to the start page of our course. By the way, this is a video that I've embedded right here on the course start page uh, in a label. Okay, we've talked about a label, talked about a web page, how about linking to a file or a website? Let's link to a website first. And again, this summary field is always optional. And I happen to have a Moodle info site right here, so I'll just select the URL and copy it. And in here, I'll paste it. Now, because this is a site that's outside of our Moodle system, I recommend having this open in a new window as opposed to a web page within your Moodle course that we created earlier, having that open in the same window, just so it's evident that you're leaving your Moodle site onto a site outside of your system. We'll go ahead and save and return to course. Now I can scroll down to the link 
and there's my Moodle info page and I'll click it. So it'll come up in a, either a new window or a new tab. So I see it, it came up in the default size. So I'll close this and I'm going to edit this and maybe do something I should have done when I first created it. And if I click in show advanced, you'll see that the default window size, you can have that, you can adjust that. And I usually try to go for maybe a thousand pixels by 900 and that's just a preference thing. You're going to find what works best for you and go ahead and save and return to course. That should open up in a larger window now. There we go. There's my Moodle info page. And you can see by virtue of me opening up in a window that's a little smaller than the uh, my desktop size windows that it's evident that I've, I'm on a different uh, browser window now and I'm free to close it and go back to my course wherever I need to. So there's linking to a web page. Now let's link to a file. And I'll use this opportunity to also share how easy it is to deploy an audio file. Let's say you've recorded a lecture that you gave and you are going to put it into your Moodle course to deploy to your learners. So let's pretend this is a lecture number four. Let's just pretend. And again, that's optional. And I click the choose or upload a file. Well, if I had, I could choose a file if I already had, had it in my files area, but I don't. I'm going to upload a file and then choose it from within the files area. And I'll show you all that. So you see I've got some pre determined, I'm sorry, pre-made. <laughs> I made these folders earlier. So I want to make a new folder because this is a different type of file and maybe, maybe it's going to be an audio file. So I will call it audio. And there's the folder that I want to put it into. So I'll go ahead and click into the folder and then I want to upload a file. So I click the, of course, upload a file button. And I browse for it on my computer and there it is. And I simply upload the file. I've had good success with uh, MP3s and WAV files, which a lot of programs can create these files nowadays. Okay, I'm in the interface now that already has the file showing up in the files area. And it might seem like you need to put a checkbox in here to select it, but actually you need to choose it over here near the right side under Action. So click Choose. And uh, this is a really cool thing that Moodle will do for you. <clears throat> Let me go ahead and save and return to course, and then I'll show you what it does. Okay, here's the link to my lecture four. And you'll see how this nice player interface loads up automatically. You'll notice that I didn't do anything to create this player interface. Moodle itself recognized that I'm trying to deploy an audio file and put the player interface in there for me. Of course, all I need to do now is click the play button and listen. Hello, this is Alfred E. Newman. Welcome to Underwater Basket Weaving. I will expect your full attention, cooperation, and participation. Well, we'll see about that, won't we? Back to the top level of the course. Now, I know I had promised you to show you, under the Add a Resource menu, how to display a directory. But we're about out of time on the screencast, so I'm going to include that on a future one on effective file management in Moodle because displaying a directory uh, definitely applies within that realm. So I hope you enjoyed watching how to insert a label, how to compose a text page, and how to link to a website and a file in your Moodle course. I appreciate your time. Feel free to check back on this screencast anytime. Take care. Happy Moodling.